Hey everybody, Joel here. I'm back out front on this window well project. Actually, it's a regrade uh, the whole front of the house project is what it's turning into. As you can see, I've pulled some rocks back and this is bad news where the water had just been running back towards the house. You can see right in here, this hole, the water had just been running right down and then that's been blowing out the, the window well. I'll link the other video where I tied these two window wells together so the damage would be mitigated anyways. Um, next I'm going to have to work on getting these back filled in so I'm going to bring probably three to four inches of soil back in here and build it up and taper it back down so the water will run away. Um, basic back filling procedures but again this soil is so clay and heavy that it just settles. You can see underneath the stoop it has just settled terribly underneath there. I'm gonna have to get some dirt down in there but all of these rocks have to come back and they're big rocks and they're not really easy to to move back. It's kind of a pain in the butt but I'll show you another area too where the sidewalk is starting to wash under a little bit too. You can see the water just coming in running down underneath the deck there and then underneath the sidewalk in the corner here, if I pull this rock out of the way, you can see how it's really settling under there. That's not good. So, got to get some soil tamped in there. That's a big project. But this is the beginning of it. Got some rocks moved away from the troubled spots. So this was a problem where the water was coming down and sloping down towards the front porch going under the front porch. Let's see if we can get a look under the porch here. That's pretty bad. Needs a lot of fill in there. So I think I have a plan. The footings look solid. Hopefully they drilled those down quite a ways because the way this is sinking out front, I hope they had them down at least 8 to 10 feet into virgin soil. But anyways, um, that's really got to be brought up because otherwise that water is just going to keep going down there. And I've got problems here along the concrete underneath. I know these are troubled spots. I've had to jack sidewalks before and that's not fun. So let me see if I can get a good look and show you. Focus in. There's that's just a big gap under here. I can get my whole hand in. There, well, that's a little better look. I can get my whole hand in there. In the corner here, I can get my whole hand. It's just not pretty. So, that's one thing that has to happen. I think I've got a solution, though. I'm going to take these steps off. I can un take the screws out and get them pulled off and shovel some good clean fill in underneath this front stoop. So, that's the plan. That's going to be a lot of work a lot of wheelbarrow loads out of a trailer or something but we got all the rocks my wife and I moved all these rocks finished doing that we'll collect uh, or pull this fabric back and I'm going to pack in some good backfill in here um, you can see this is the other side of the of the porch see under there it's just a big hole so we've got to bring this up about eight inches so we can get the right slope I don't know if you can see it maybe better if I hold the camera right here but there's um right over here is our grade and I can get a bit of a slope here it's not a lot but it's something and I'll be able to get that water to drain away and instead of this fabric I'm gonna use plastic I don't want any perforation I don't want any water going down there at all so that's the plan I said we got these rocks all piled up and it's been a big job. It's 85 degrees here today and it's still May. Um, be nice to cool down a little bit, but we're okay. Eight wheelbarrow loads from the back and a half, eight and a half wheelbarrow loads from the back and got these built up, got a slope on it. So we're looking pretty good around here. Maybe I'll get a better angle over here it does slope slope down I may have to rake rake out just a little bit right in 
right in this area here. Get it fine tuned a little bit, but it's looking pretty good. So taking the front steps off, I numbered them, take them off one at a time. Some of these, uh, they're star, they're Torx head screws. Some of them are stripping off. It's a, uh, a 15, it's a 15 or a 20. But thankfully, out in the sun here, this is pretty warm. So I'm able to peel these right through. I don't know if I'll be able to do it one hand or not. There we go. So I'll have to get that screw out of there still. But it pulled through, so we can go ahead and work with that, I suppose. Probably have gone through a bunch of tips, I had to run over to Menards and get about a dozen more tips, but um, they just are tight. Not a lot of tolerance. It's working out really good getting the dirt that can put the wheelbarrow. It's the wheelbarrow I'm using. I can put the wheelbarrow, the, I call it the front bumper, right down at the base where the concrete and the step meet, and then the tub can rest right on these stringers. Works out really well. And then I'll be able to push, push that right back into the hole. So I think it's gonna work out well. It's going along pretty well under there. I think it's eight loads. I have eight loads in there so far. I don't know what that wire is. I think he ran it to the backyard for a future shed, but I, I couldn't locate it back there and I, I've got other plans for it. I know it's not tied into the panel in the basement, which is actually just right on the other side of this wall. I'm sure he just had it here for future to tie in. Most likely, but um, regardless, I don't need it. 
I picked up some sand at Menards. I'm packing it in underneath the sidewalk on the step. And I've still got uh, still got a bit of a gap down there. I can get my hammer down in there and pack it in really nice and tight. And I think what I'm going to do is go back and get some sacrete. And I'm going to go ahead and pack that in here. And then uh, <clears throat> let that harden up. And I think I'll have a much better much better seal on this keep it from washing out get it protected and go with that I've got to get in that back corner there a little bit higher and then get this sloped out better for drainage but I think that'll work it'll be much better and then I've got underneath the steps all built up that had to be built up a couple well probably 18 inches maybe but um, yeah this is turning out okay should be able to button these steps up here a short bit, but I better make a run back to Menards and get some sacrete for underneath this concrete ledge here. Plastic stretched out. Get these rocks moved back up. Put a lot of dirt in, so I might have too much for rock. We'll see. We'll see how it pans out. Just got back from the big box store. And I was going to get a bag of sacrete to put under the front sidewalk to kind of shore in that where it washed out. But I came across this um, fence post backfill. And I've seen them use this. Now what have I got to lose? One bag equals two bags of concrete, so what the heck. I was a um, matter of carrying this little lightweight box out or um, grabbing a bag of sacrete, which... Um, I decided to go with the lightweight, give it a whirl. I've never used this stuff before, so I figured I better take a look at the instruction sheet. Usually this is the first thing that goes by the wayside when doing something, but um, this is for worldwide use. How can you go wrong for worldwide use? So I was looking through the instructions. Um, yeah, be very careful with this stuff. Once you start mixing it, it's going to expand in that bag. And it says um, you can't allow that bag to rupture. Um, you gotta open it with one minute. Within one minute. So I get to the next page and it says Fast 2K is ideal to fill voids around a fence or mailbox post is not intended for application where it would be subjected to load bearing such as slabs. So I'm not using this to jack a slab. I'm using this to Keep the water from running out underneath the slab so I feel confident that this is going to be fine if I were counting on this to be a structural um, you know have some structural integrity I think maybe I'd be a little concerned but I think we're gonna run with it this could be uh, could be a genius idea or it could be the worst thing I've ever done and make a huge mess we will find out shortly
going? Uh, it's going pretty good. Good. What you got going on over here? I'm just trying to get this sealed up underneath the sidewalk. Mm. Water's been getting down underneath. Oh, that's always fun. So I got some post um, foam mm -hmm. that expands around a post. We're going to give it a whirl. Okay. So look at this stuff grow. Yeah, that's cool. Isn't that wild? Yeah, that's cool. What are you guys up to? Not much. Yeah. I don't got any plans. Nikolai's oh. usually the one that's got the plans. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is crazy. It's growing like the blob. It's almost, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, the whole place. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully that does the trick for it. Yeah, I just got to keep the water from going through. That's the main, main thing. Yeah, I think that'll do the trick for it. I hope so. It's with the camera tripod. I'm videotaping. I put it on YouTube. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I just started doing that. Kind of reminds me of that uh, one YouTube So I filled up that corner there. Really took it well. It's still expanding out. And over here, it's just crazy. So hopefully, I'm assuming it will harden up. It's kind of like the blob. But we'll let it get solid here. It says about 15 minutes. It should be hard to set up. And then um, we'll work it from there. product here. Got all the rock pushed back. Put a few stepping stones up to the faucet. Got another project. My uh, siphon is leaking on the faucet so I'm going to have to look into that and see if that's going to take the fix. That's the first time we've turned it on for the year. So This turned out well. Got some good plastic up there underneath there. Keep that water from coming down. Over here we're pretty much backfilled. turned out really well. So that should do it for this video of changing the grade, getting it to slope away from the house, from the window wells, so we don't get this problem of water rushing back towards the foundation. Thanks for watching.